welcome to another video uh, from NGL and uh, on the bench today is another Carlsberg CS60 this one's in for repair and uh, if you've watched the previous video we totally restored one of these to its former glory and uh, we're going to have a look at uh, this one and see what it needs it may need a full restoration may just need a repair won't know till we get inside it so I just have a, a quick flash through again and what we got here so we've got the main volume master volume we've got a presence no treble on these they didn't have a treble uh, middle base we've got the reverb the foot switch and then we've got these four inputs uh, that we go in there and those inputs are grid biased as well so let's have a look at the back um, basically much not much to see really on back same as most amps We've got an impedance selector there we should just hone in and uh, speaker arts jack, just normal quarter inch jacks mains fuse mains voltage selector and we're on the um, on the old bulging plug there that is staying in controversial but the customer wants it to stay so it stays the only thing you have to watch with these is the pins tend to come loose um, if you're not careful you have to keep an eye on them make sure they keep you keep them tightened especially the ground that's one of the favorites for falling out um, but that one's in good order so we're going to get the back off and uh, we'll have a look inside and see what's uh, what tubes and etc are in there so we've got the back door off this uh, Carlsborough and uh, we've got three Brimer ECC 83s 12x7s there you can just see those and uh, they're I think they're original to the amp um, however the EL 34s are not the JJ's um, and looking at the paint on those um, I say we've got no problems with it running hot that paint has bran if, uh, if you get any problems with the bias so these amps running hot the other one um, is also fine so there is some faults on this amp if there's anything it'll be running too cold so that's a good sign good start at least and they look like they've not been in very long so uh, probably won't need any output tubes so if we look inside you can see that the uh, that's the output transformer the lay down that's uh, sorry the mains transformer power transformer that's original chokes original and the output transformer protruding in there is original so this is looking like a good example um, it's not messed with certainly not what we could see so far so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take it out of the case and we'll have a look at the gubbings inside so here we are looking inside and uh, this looks pretty original but someone has been in here at some point so one giveaway is we look this um, electrical tape that's been wrapped around this fuse holder not quite sure what's going on there um, but uh, yeah that's uh, so somebody's been there and also if we look this is the um, AC resistor that drops uh, the bias it's the bias that's fed off one side of the AC feed on the power transformer that looks like it's been doctored there um, that looks like one meg is that one meg that's one meg really <laughs> that should be 180k that's in parallel with and I can't see what value that is that is the 180k how strange hmm so there's something not right there straight away that's a massive value to be in there one meg that's one meg definitely so we need to look at that um, and there's one or two crispy resistors so if we just hone in across here if we look at that chap there he looks a bit crispy now at some time there has and I'm guessing that's why this amps had new output tubes in there's been and again one of these things where um, either a valve's flashed over or something or there's been a problem with the bias but at some point 
this has had problems that resistor's had a lot of heat and you can see it doesn't look great but if we look at these screen resistors over here if we just go in and if we look at that screen resistor that is baked and well baked so why now I can tell from those tubes that I've just taken out of there because you can tell they've just had no heat I can tell from those tubes that someone has left that in from a previous repair when this amps had problems there's just no way on this planet that those tubes have fried that um, that resistor um, they would they would be, these tubes would look well heated up and the, the paint on it's still red on, on those tubes so that's from a previous repair I'm almost certain of it um, let's just spin it round so here's that big resistor again that we uh, that we actually moved on to the chassis um, that's also been replaced I'm guessing and there's been again as soon as there's any faults develop on these amps where the current uh, rises um, you get this instant failure with this resistor and you can see that that um, at some point as add sorry you can see at some point that that has had another resistor in and that's failed and you can see the carbon and stuff on there yeah so there's a few issues going on there one is that res that screen resistor two is what on earth that's doing on there um, this electrical tape on the fuse odor is that cracked we need to check that because that's it if that is cracked that is extremely dangerous we that one about falling apart um, everything else though seems to be pretty original um, the caps well they look in reasonable order but they're 50 years old plus so um, I don't know how, how much more life they've got so it could do with a recap really but it, it, it certainly needs some new screen resistors and that and, and again that coat are looking at so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up on the Variac and uh, I'm just going to take some voltage measurements and see where we are. So we've got this amp up and running and I'm just checking the bias and if we look on there it is negative 40 near enough. That's way too, uh, way too hot, so low. So the bias, um, it's cold and there's no surprise is there with that resistor stuffed on there we can see that one meg there so someone's doctored that um, and the plate uh, the plate voltage is quite high at 485 should be only around about 460 this is that resistor on the reverb and it smells horrendous and it's red hot yeah, absolutely you can fry an egg on that so we'll, despite the bias being low which obviously drops the current draw of the amp that's still glowing red hot so that's going to be a problem and this is what happens with those resistors this amp's had a fault on at some time uh, a valve looks like a valve's red plated judging by that screen resistor valve's red plated current drawer of the amp goes up and that resistor explodes classic thing and that's happened before you can see on the board so a real design flaw on these amps um, and these amps sound great, you know, they, apart from that they're really well made, but that reverb wasn't very well thought out at all. I've got a dummy load on it at the moment, so um, not really plug it into a cab. I just want to get some measurements, but that bias is cold, so there's a problem straight away. That screen resistor is shot. Um, it's actually still working, but I'm not leaving that in there. That has had some real hammer. And if we look down there, we can see uh, see some handiwork there. So we just botch that on. No big deal. We can see we sort that out, tidy that up. You can see that these have been just laid across the eyelets again, um, like on the last one. And somebody did leave a comment on on the last video that we did, saying that they got one of these and they were also laid across. So this looks like Friday afternoon at the factory, really. Um, I think we have to say they are factory they're all like it 
and uh, well maybe that's just how they did things in them days but I don't like to see that you just it's just laziness really I'm gonna just test the values of, uh, of these resistors here these dropping resistors and uh, just see what uh, what to state those are in but that's had some that's been baked as well so sorry for the crap camera work there this resistor here that's been baked as well so we're gonna have gonna have to look at that as well um that's gonna have to be changed no question about it and really these caps could do a changing i've decided i'm going to just test all these caps just see what kind of condition they're in and uh, you can see on that one if you look uh, look at about eight o'clock. You can just see a little pimple starting to appear there. So that's not looking good. So I'm going to test this cap. Um, that cap's on the bias as well. So if we hone in, And that is 8.2 loss, 58.9 microfarad, 4.3 ESR. So that is tated. That's uh, leaking pretty bad. So this cap here that I've just lifted is 20 plus 20. Um, and I'm just testing one side of that. And if you look there, you can see that's 2.6 loss on that. It's drifted up to 25, which is no big deal, but 3.2 ESR. So again, that one's pretty much at it. That's the other side of that 2020. Uh, again, 2.5% loss. It's drifted a bit. And the microfarad ESR is 5.8 ohms. So again, that's well on its way out. That's one of the main electrolytics and uh, the widest series. Um, 1.2 loss, drifted a little on the microfarad, not much. ESR is 1.9. Um, that's passable, but again, you know, it's it's on its way out. How much longer are they going to last uh, while we're in here? It makes sense to just change them. Just tested um, this resistor here. This is on the phase inverter plate. Um, that is high in value. Um, they're normally 82k. The other one, other plates, 100. Um, I think that's 91, but it weighs way over 100, about 112, something like that. So that needs that needs changing as well. Probably put an 82. Some have got 82s in. Some's got the 91. Um, so checking round, I've checked some of the plate resistors uh, and so on round in this area on these tubes. And they all test good, they're all really accurate. So, yes, I've tested the old uh, uh, cr bit crusty uh, dropping resistor there, even that tests good, but I'm gonna swap those because they've had heat. And our friend over there, of course, who's baked, he's gonna have to be changed. So I'm putting a new, we just put a new pair of uh, uh, wire winds on there so that's really it that's it that's an assessment to this Carlsberg CS60 thanks for watching you all take care and I'll see you all again in a future video bye bye for now